guys is we can see we're looking at the 500k formula. So pretty much it's just going to give you an understanding right now of what you need to think about with your 500k formula guys. So basically everything you need to know. So have you done this? So have you got, do you understand the identity of your business and do you understand who you are and who you aren't? Um, have you created uh, your value propositions in the marketplace so you can directly talk to your niche market rather than trying to train every single person and ev like you know basically anyone and everyone? If you're trying to do that, you aren't going to get anyone because no one's going to come to you because you're not going to be a perceived expert on anything that you're talking about. Have you created a list? You, you want to get a list of about a thousand people. So an email database of at least a thousand people so you can regularly send them the content out that you actually do so you can be, be that perceived expert and have create the higher value. Um, do you have front end offers to get people into your facility? So 10 days to a tighter tummy or 21 days for $21 or anything like that so you can do a couple of promos uh, rolling through throughout the year to get people in just on a low cost front end so you can get uh, a, a, some mass people into your boot camps or semi-private training. Um, do you understand the marketing that you're doing? So have you got marketing strategies each and every month? We should be having at least three strategies on a monthly basis inside our our uh, programs, so we're getting three different strategies to actually get people in the front door. Do you have a sales cycle, or do you just let people come in for for seven days or fourteen days, and then try and and if they don't ask how to sign up, you just leave them like a lot of other PTs do. You actually do, do need a sales cycle of of what to do when and how to get people's information to get them actually staying and paying. Um, do you have retention methods in place? So. Do you have things you do to basically retain your members to make sure they don't come in for a month and then just leave straight away because your level of service isn't there? Do you, are you doing things to build your tribe? Um, so, so basically, you know, the things that, that create your community to create raving fans um, and basically making sure everyone says that, that you are the people to go to. So people are talking about you rather than you just talking about yourself all the time. Do you hold seminars? Do you hold webinars? Um, if you haven't, if you don't, then you need to. Um, have you got your yearly marketing strategy down pat so you know exactly what you should be doing each and every month for the entire year? Do you have referral programs in place? So, you know, refer people to get a t-shirt, um, you know, 10 referrals, get an iPad, two referrals get, a, a, you know, basically if they refer two people, they get two weeks for free, um, you know, it's different things you can do, but should be set in stone so your members know what, what the referral process is. Now, when we're talking about building a list, this is the biggest thing, um, you know, you can do bring a friend days, you can t tell a friend uh, link on the emails, you can have referral based programs, you can have joint ventures with local cafes, local businesses, you're networking with your 250 list. Uh, you got social media in place, so you can have uh, low-cost social media-based marketing. You have your blog in place. Transformation competitions are great for building a list. Charity events, so you're doing public speaking or charity events. Um, so that's some great ways to do it. Now, when we're looking at retention, guys, it's basically uh, we want to treat a group as, as personal training. So people are getting their stretching. They're getting their mobilization. They're getting their nutrition. They're getting everything a PT client would but they're in a group. Um, they're doing assessments and also what you can do to make sure they're getting that PC-based stuff is, is putting them on a membership site and letting them know which videos are best for them for the mobilization with their specific problems. Um, you want to be also basically getting results. So you make sure you're doing before and after pictures, you're doing measurements on a monthly basis and, and you're basically tracking where your members are at. Uh, a weekly newsletter or a weekly blog post going out to your list to keep it growing. You want to coach people the correctly to make sure they're actually doing the technique properly. Um, having contests within your members, so you know, basically making sure they're uh, progressing their weights or their their intensity, and having competitions within the within the group. Um, send out cards on birthdays and, and holidays. 
a personal email maybe once a week or once a month to your members, making sure that there's that interaction, that personalized interaction between you and them, and recognition when people are achieving results. So give them some form of recognition, whether it be a certificate, a voucher for somewhere, a, a congratulations, all these type of things um, is, is basically what we do. Uh, one on one time. So you want to make sure you're doing goals. So one on one time with all your clients. Uh, goal setting, have, making sure they have experience, where are they and where they're going. Uh, you can do it over a phone call even if you need to, but that's the key to making sure that's done. So as we can see, guys, if we get all the uh, have you done's in place, you're building a list and you look after all your attention based strategies, then you're going to be on, on track for a 500k plus formula um, and you're going to be able to help live the life and have the systems in place to create basically you know, the dream that you want. So have a great day guys and I'll talk to you soon.